Hey, I'm professional archaeologist Nathaniel Fossum. I'm uh, in the woods of Pisgah National Forest right now, camping out and going feral in preparation for this year's summer field work in Alaska. And I thought it might be fun for, I don't know, maybe four people to take a look at my field gear that I'm getting prepared for, for this year's summer work. So we'll take a look at that. Now over here I've got a metric measuring tape. I definitely stole this from a co-worker. Well, he left it behind on a project after uh, after being there for a couple of months. He went back to Arizona. Um, I do keep a small paintbrush in the dig kit. It's only for f cleaning up uh, dust and, and things for photos. A couple of knives that I like to keep on me. Typically, I wouldn't need anything this big, but some projects, they don't like you having a machete. So if I get caught up in vines or something, it's nice to have something a little bit bigger that I can cut myself out with. Now, this tool here is one of my favorites. It's called a Japanese side hoe. And I thought that was hilarious, so I had to buy one. But it's actually really well ergonomically designed for working through roots and um, really thick clays. And because you drag it instead of taking a trowel and cutting this way, it just, there's less resistance on, in the soil. You do have to be careful not to over dig with that though, because it'll, it'll tank down really, really quickly if you're not careful with it. This is something over here, they're called bucket trowels. And I learned this from a semi-mythical archeologist named Country Bob. But I like them better than, uh, than dust pans because there's no lip for the soil to get kind of stuck on. You just kind of scoop things up and dump them in your bucket or whatever. And you don't have to, to mess with like digging the dirt out from behind that lip. And I have two because someone always wants to borrow one once they see that I'm using it. I like to keep a carpenter trowel on me just to make sure that my walls are straight and that you know everything's clean and, and cut correctly um then i keep uh, a couple of files on me because all of these tools except the knives really but all these tools need to be kept in good sharp shape especially the trowels down here to to get through you know roots and heavy clays they, they're just much more much more effective when everything is is kept in good sharp shape down here, I've got a little set of wax carving tools that I found just really useful for kind of working in very small crevices between cracks, or if I'm trying to pedestal something, uh, sometimes that's that can be really useful. And if, if, if bone is in really good condition, I'll use it on bone also. And then I always keep an assortment of different kinds of, uh, of trowels on me. The round one seemed to be something that only I do, um, that only I make, but... I like these a lot better than using things like spoons or uh, ice cream scoops to get uh, soil out of pit features or, or thermal features, fireplaces, things like that. Um, it just kind of follows the curvature of the uh, of the feature really well. And I cut the, the handle short so that if I'm doing like a post hole or a post mold, it doesn't get in my way quite so much. This is what we call a London style Marshalltown. Um, I replaced the handle with Purple Heart and a, a maple core with leather spacers because why not? Um, this is really good for really gravelly soils uh, and I keep a really like rounded bevel on it. It doesn't, you know, since it's thicker steel, it doesn't go dull quite so quickly as, as some of the other ones. These are all Philadelphia Marshalltowns and uh, this is actually one that uh, one of my first ones. I've had it since 2012. It used to be six inches long, and now it's closer to like I don't know four inches, three and a half, something like that. But um, this is something that I would use for really heavy clay where the the resistance is too much for the bigger blades. And then these are just kind of general purpose trowels. I'll use these for you know pretty much anything else, loamy, sandy soils, what have you. Uh, this one's uh, a much older one that has, uh, I, I gave it a red cedar handle, and I like the, the shorter tang on it for certain, uh, I don't know, just different different soils have different feels to them, and I like to use different trowels. And then, of course, if you're in the field, you want to have 
bottle of mayonnaise on you at all times. Hellman's is for field work. Duke's is for food. Don't mix those two up. It's really important.